any way, any time. The question is, what is your message? A powerful message is a message that is energized by the Holy Spirit. Once you get into doing what God called you to do, you'll be amazed at the supply of the Spirit. You come up to a higher level where your antenna, your spiritual antenna is raised, which means you're fine-tuned to hear God more clearly. He'll be there every time. He'll never fail one time. Never fail. You don't have to invite Him. He'll be there before you. Through infirmity of the flesh, I preach the gospel unto you at the first. And my temptation, which was in my flesh, you despised not, nor rejected. This shows that it was something that, it was something um, uh, of concern. To the point that he thought that they, they could have rejected his message because of that. And this thing, he says, was in his flesh. So it was something obvious. And he says, you know how through infirmity of the flesh, I preach the gospel to you. Now, notice he didn't say, I preach the gospel, the gospel to you full stop. No, he says, I preach the gospel to you at the first. At the first. At the first is a, is a, is a, a word in the Greek, proteron. Proteron means um, the first time. The first time. Every time it's used in scripture, and there are about four of those places, every time it's used in scripture, it means previously, it means an event before. This suggests that Paul, before the writing of this scripture to the Galatians, may have visited them at least twice. Because from the construction, and from every other time it is used, it is obvious that he meant, the first time I came, you know I was sick. Furthermore, when he uses that word, you know how that through infirmity of the flesh, through infirmity, infirmity of the flesh, the word is uh, through, is dear, which is causative. Causative. That means, um, it, it suggests that uh, the infirmity of the flesh made me do this. Which means, um, I may, he may have been uh, delayed to remain in Galatia. For some reason, something had happened that put him there and made it possible for him to go ahead and preach the gospel to them at that time. But the point is, at that first visit, Paul had an infirmity of the flesh. It's a simple thing. It's a simple thing. It's not unusual. But he preached the gospel in spite of that. And that's the big thing. And you remember his teaching when he said to us, I have learned in whatever state I am to be independent of circumstances. Let's imagine this. You know, Paul was persecuted many times. So he, he was beaten. I mean, uh, I mean read, read his account. Sometimes they mobbed him. They injured him. Some time ago at the healing school here, I was here for the healing school. I had a terrible condition. I couldn't move. Are you listening to this? Every day I couldn't move until it got so bad. Now, I'm going to be ministering on Sunday and I'm using crutches. Can you imagine that? I'm going with a stick. I'm going to be praying for them on Sunday. 
for people who are doing like this. I'm going to be praying for them. <laughs> Jesus Christ is still Lord. You get it? So the director of the healing school asked me. She said, um, um, are you coming on Sunday? I said, oh, yeah, I'll be there. She said, okay. So I said, don't forget. It is not by might. It is not by power, but by my spirit, said the Lord. So I'll be there by the Holy Ghost. See, Paul said, I have learned to be independent of circumstances. I'd already learned to be putting this thing to work. I understand how the anointing works. So, now it's Sunday. I'm getting ready for healing school. I'm still like this. You understand? I'm dressing up. I'm ready. I get my stick. I'm going to the car. I'm going like this to the car. Where am I going? To the healing school. <laughs> they open the door. I have to sit in a certain way and come inside in a certain way. What am I trusting? I'm trusting the Holy Ghost. See, I've got to do the work that he sent me to do. I can't give him excuses. You understand? Oh, Lord, I can't go to the healing school today. Why? Because, what? So, they drove me here to the premises. And I'm talking in tongues. And I said, Lord, now we're here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. By my spirit, said the Lord. And I opened the door. I came out, and I'm perfect. Perfectly normal. I walk under the anointing to the healing school. No pain, nothing. And I minister to everybody. And some of those people, you know, they're falling down and they're kicking me. <laughs> and that day, particularly, they kicked my leg on the leg that was hurting. <laughs> At the end of the meeting, you know, the anointing was so much. Lots of healings, miracles. I get back into the car and I'm seated and back to the pain. The pain returned like I was not the same person in there. How did I get out of the car? With a stick. I'm back home. I'm back like this. You see what I'm talking about? You have to understand. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. This is so important. Success is your responsibility. Prosperity is your responsibility. And God knew that you could make it happen. And he told you how. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us. To Sunday the 13th of March, Get 2023. Ready to well. Get ready Let to begin know. living your life of glory. Because Jesus Christ makes you well. The Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris is here again. Unprecedented torrents of the miraculous will flow across the globe. Register for free at www.healingstreams.tv slash LHS. For more details, call the number showing on your screen. The services will be broadcast live on www.healingstreams.tv and the Healing School mobile app. Healing Streams Live Healing Services with Pastor Chris. The set time for your healing.